What's up guys, it's Deaded on here and today I am back in Star Citizen where I am taking a look at the other variant of the constellation which is the constellation Taurus which is pretty much the budget version of the constellation. It is the cheapest one you can buy and it is the most bare bones and basic. It is just a standard cargo hauler without all the extra features like you know some of the extra guns and stuff. So this is it with a bit of texture glitching actually at the front. You can see on these bars here and under here that it's trying to map a texture that shouldn't be there hence you've got some Z fighting going on it's supposed to be sort of that color like on the intake there but I don't know what's going on but we can ignore that at the moment because this is gonna get changed and we'll move along so yeah this is like I said the cargo version so as you can see here it looks pretty much the same but there are a few differences especially towards the back as we shall soon see now if we move on under here you will see first of all that you've got a bigger cargo bucket which I've part the grey cat in sort of you can see it jittering about because it doesn't know what to do with the physics and you can tell the cargo bucket is bigger because it's got the extra cylinders along here like you've got these middle ones as well now this is about double the size of the standard one but that does of course mean when you go here you don't have the snub fighter like this one doesn't have the dock so you can't fly the merlin or anything also, these engines, these side ones here, are supposed to be fixed, so this one might not be as agile as the other constellations. But why might you want this when you can buy, you know, something like the constellations, or not the constellations, rather something like the Hull series, which can carry a lot more cargo externally than these can? Well, this one can carry it all internally inside that cargo bay there, which could be a good thing, because whereas the Hull series is kind of known as being called pinatas, for having everything hung on coat hangers basically. This has everything under the protection of the ship's hull and its shields fully. So we can assume that you know maybe you want to carry more like secure cargo or high value cargo on something like this and save the bulk for the hull series. But anyway let's get on so we can activate this ramp here and we can wait for it to go if it wants to go that is. Come on. Is it not going to want to shut? There we go now it's shutting. So we'll just sit by the grey cat here, you can see it's sort of chittering about because it doesn't really know what to do. So it's bumping around somewhere, we can of course push it about because it acts as if this surface is nothing. So you can see big glitching, but I've pushed it about some. So this is obviously inside, we'll go up the stairs here, or ladder really. Um, I can't move and it's not moving anymore. And we're suddenly on top of the stairs, that's um, ladder rather, I keep saying stairs. That's um bit different but we're up here now so that's something you can see here it is a lot bigger cargo bay so that's something no cargo crane on the roof here which I think would be very useful especially given you know if you want to load something big um, into this cargo bay but yeah obviously where we used to have the Merlin you've got nothing now this is I'm assuming just reactor stuff like these things here because yeah this is the budget version of the constellation so it has less features really but it also has the most upgrade potential probably in that you know you can probably do more with this one than you can with the others because it has less to start from so if you want a project ship maybe pick one of these up and yep same airlock as everything it's basically the same constellation as you've seen already just a bit different so we'll go through here into the crew quarters you'll see this one's only got two beds so you've got the bed up there and the bed up there same as the others but then you've got this bit here which is the shower and toilet combined into one block which I think looks much nicer and of course you can see another window slash mirror thing but yeah this is obviously the shower with a nice rotating door it looks kinda nice even if the shower head is I don't know not present or is it just folded I don't know really and then of course the toilet which you can of course use because you know this is Star Citizen and some people demanded you be able to sit in toilets for whatever reason. But anyway, let's get on back out of there, we've seen that. This is obviously the entrance way as you would normally get into this rather than the cargo bay. You've got the table all folded up as you can see with another airlock up there that I've not really shown properly in other videos. Bit more glitching because I'm standing on something. But there we go, there we brought the table down, and I forgot last time that this had the sitting animation automatically, so we are seated at a very dirty looking table. I mean, look at that. It's all rusty, and dirty, and faded, and I hope that's, you know, somewhat hygienic, but I kind of doubt it. But yeah, let's keep on moving. 
He's got something there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, more boxes and stuff. Like I say, this one is also going to be getting a new interior, so that'll be nice. This one only has the seat at the top. You see, you've got these doors at the bottom. That's because this is supposed to have a cargo hold where the lower turret goes that is supposed to be secure. In other words, like other scanners on other ships can't detect what's in that cargo bay. So that might be useful if you're trying to smuggle something. But it also seems kind of obvious with these big doors here that anyone who boards your ship will be able to straight away find where you've put your smuggled cargo. But yeah, up there is just the standard turret, you know, we've seen that one before. And then, of course, you've got the standard bridge with the projector screens and everything. So, yeah, that is the Constellation Taurus. It is a hauler for if you kind of value more security and sort of, you know, multi-role adaptability than a hull series, because I imagine this would be less vulnerable than those. But it's also, you know, it's still a Constellation. It's still a multi-person ship. It's still pretty big, so that's nice. And it's got everything you could need. Even if, for example, with only two escape pods and no snub fighter, if you've got a third person, I don't know who draws the short straw and goes down with their ship. But anyway, I'm Denadon, this is Star Citizen, safe landings.